Good evening, I'm Shamika Neely. Organizations came together today to assist those who fought for their country and now need assistance themselves. The first Bloomington stand-down event held at the American Legion helped veterans like Joseph Collier, a retired commanding officer of the bomb squad in the U.S. Army. He received an advanced degree and served as an international lawyer for 25 years. Looking back, he says he never thought about being homeless. I uh, have had it made several times in my life, and yet I end up homeless. So uh, what I see in that is this could happen to anyone. And once you fall out of one of these systems, uh, it takes money to get back in. You need housing, transportation, clothing, a phone, an address. The event today offered veterans the opportunity to get assistance with such things as VA benefits, haircuts, and medical attention. Bloomington is home to 35 veterans who are enrolled in a special housing program. You know, they have a lot of pride for what they did for their country and um, feel that they shouldn't need to ask for help. But we try to meet them where they are so that we can get, get them the support that they need. Civilians are not the only people who are struggling. A welder for 20 years and victim of the economic times has made it hard for some to get back to work. I know a lot of people think because they go into service and then we do training like we do while we're there that It'll help us, and it does when the economy is, is going well. But when it's not, we're a victim of circumstances just like everybody else is. Veterans make up almost 13 percent of the U.S. population. More than two months after the stage collapse at the Indiana State Fair, wreckage of the state will be removed from the fairgrounds. It will be moved to an off-site facility and an investigation into the collapse, and it will continue. Monday, an engineering firm plans to move the structure to the warehouse. Results of the investigation are still about six to eight months away. A look at your weather tonight, mostly cloudy with a 40% chance of rain showers, lows in the upper 40s. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, highs in the mid-60s.